Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming to you from Ontario, Canada. And in today's video, I'm going to show you my, um, I guess I'll call it a seasonal catalog uh, pre-order. Now, the uh, name of the catalog is the August to December 2020 mini catalog. I'm going to call it a seasonal catalog. And this is the cover. And there are a lot of really, really awesome things in there. Um, before I get started, I just want to show you two things, but I will have a video later showing all of the really cool things that I have made, but I just want to show you this because I just finished it and I just love it. And this is done with the uh, Poinsettia um, bundle that I ordered, which I'll show you in a moment. But I just, I love it. And uh, the first bundle I'm going to show you, maybe not the first one because it's buried pretty deep in the box, but this is another one I want to show you. And these little um, gift giving treat things are really cool. Uh, you get these little cups and I, I decorated the front. You could put, um, I don't know, candies with a gift card in there or uh, snowman soup. So the... Um, hot chocolate marshmallows and Hershey's Kisses with the candy canes could be done in there and it'd be really cute. Wait, okay, I'm going to flip you down and I'll start showing you some of the awesome new product. Now I didn't get everything. It will look like I got everything, but I didn't. So the first suite is called um, the heartwarming, heartwarming hugs and uh, I'll show you the paper. So I always love a good seasonal paper stripes and dots um, so these colors are real red pear pizzazz and mossy meadow and that's all of them um, so great color combination put this over here um, the stamp set. Oh, so wait, I'll show you. Get these out of the box. So these are the uh, the little carriers to make those coffee things. They come flat. You get eight to a box. They're pretty easy to put up. And then this is how the coffee cups come in a box like this. Um, you get eight of them, and with the lids. then there's the stamp set now there's two stamp sets in this suite but I just got the one for now um, I have earned some bonus coupons in uh, July that I can use in August so I may get the other stamp set um, but it's a very very cute to use with that suite or to use on its own to make tags and then uh, um, of course the matching die set so the dies these dies cut out all the circle things and these down here are what you use to make the bands to go around the coffee cups. Um, so if you put this on your magnetic platform, these have dots or like uh, little designs in them. So when you put them in, this would actually cut out those designs. So like a peekaboo type look. Um, but yeah, so that I've had fun playing with so far. Um, Next, I will show, this is called Dove of Hope, which is a pretty nice stamp set, but what I loved was the, the, uh, the way you can build the dove up. So I made this card using um, the dove, uh, the, the cutouts of it. So that, that I really enjoyed. I have other plans. Um, so now the next one I'm going to show you is the suite that I bought all of. So the whole suite. I think there are two that I bought the whole suite of. So this is, um, I don't know what it's called. It's got the poinsettias. Rip. Oh, it's really pretty. It is called Poinsettia Petals Bundle. Okay, well, that's well named. Um, and to the dies that you get, I've already put them on my magnet. Um, some of these dies actually cut out from the paper. So the paper is really, really pretty. Very elegant. It's 
very pretty. And I love this one. And pine cones. I love pine cones. Mm, that one's not my favorite. But I do like the back of it. Again, that. And the berries. Okay, so that's the paper. And then there's the, this is um, flocked. Flocked vellum. So you get two sheets of this design. Two sheets of this design. I've already used some of one. And two sheets of this design. Now, I've already cut this and used it because, remember the first card I showed you? These white poinsettias are cut from here. Um, and what I did, so even if some of them are only half, if I did one solid and two half, I'm not going to waste anything. The halves are behind there. You can't even see because they're tucked in behind. So there's no wasting. I love, 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 love this flocked vellum. Okay, so that's the paper. I'm running out of room. And the Stampin' the Die. Then also in that suite is this beautiful ribbon and there they are these absolutely gorgeous embellishments they are um pearls three three cluster of three pearls um, you get, I think you get 18, yes, 18 of them. Um, this card that I did, I uh, did it with the gold accent, so I didn't use the pearls. Is there anything else in that suite? No, I think that's it. I do, however, see I missed something with the coffee suite. There was this ribbon, and uh, I used it on my project. So, hi, Straper. So yes, I forgot to show that. That was part of the suite as well. Okay, next up, this is the other one that I bought all of. Um, it is of course an autumn one. I love autumn. I only got one autumn in this Oh yeah, this doesn't have, this has. So this is brushed cardstock. So this is called, I took the thing off, um, brushed metallic cardstock. So you've got three colors. You've got two sheets of each of the three colors. And I just, it's, it's thick and it's beautiful. So that was part. Uh, then there was paper. So this paper, I just, I, I love this speckled brown. This would look, go really nice with the birds that I, the, that I bought from the catalog. There's the pumpkin. Yeah, that. Nice. And we've got matching punches. And these punches will, of course, cut these out. Right here, I can see it. Yep. There we go. It helps if I put it under the camera for you to actually see, right? So the punch, we'll cut that out. The, uh, the other side is a beautiful rest. And I love this. And that on the other side is different. It's gold and... I'm not happy like that side I don't like but I love that again and that and the stripes I love stripes I love the stripes with the, these three together actually look really good that's my inspiration right there and what's on the back of the hound's tooth oh, this. this one so yeah I don't like that but I love the hound's tooth so it's perfect 
Then there was the matching stamp set called Beautiful Autumn with the three matching punches. One, two, three to do the leaves. Um, I love stamps with matching punches. So easy to use. And I love when the punches punch out of the paper as well. Then there are these beautiful trinkets in uh, copper. They look copper. Um, well, you can't see right there. You can't even see what they are. They're acorns. They're copper acorns. And they're, they're heavy. And they're really pretty. And then the ribbon. So this is, again, a copper. It's very stiff. It's It looks like the braided trim, but it's stiff. It's not... Uh, doesn't feel like the braided trim but you can make a nice bow with it it would be good for like trimming around the coffee cup or something okay I'll just put that away later and this is called bath is called a, uh, a it's a weave I don't know what the actual name is but the, it's very pretty it's very textured this weaved ribbon I am texture driven and I think that was everything in that suite so yes all I got all of that I can put this over here I don't need that right now um, next up so this is a stamp set um, I did like the ornaments but what I like are all these little decorations this is to decorate your envelope this ornamental envelope um, this I guess you could put at the front of your envelope to put your address and your, your you know, two from these, the little corner thing I really like a lot. Um, and then you've got the matching dies to cut out your face. And then you've got like to do the small note card envelope to do the, the smaller of the smaller of our regular envelopes. And then these various ones to do the, um, the inside flap as well. So, um, and then you can decorate them. You can cut these out and like decorate. I'm excited. I can't explain it. I have to show you. So my next video is going to show you all the projects that I've made with these things. So you can see exactly what they do. It's hard for me to explain. Um, with words, I am a visual person. Uh, this is another suite that I didn't get everything. I did get the stamp sets and I think that was it. Um, so this is called Wishes and Wonder. And it has, it, it's got a really nice tag. I like this tag a lot. And I love springs. Like this, I just love. I love that. I guess that's mistletoe. He's a little bit smaller than I thought he was going to be. But that's okay. Um, and then all these beautiful different kinds of circles and scallop circles with stitching on them. I do like that. And then this one is the bells. I like bells. So cherish the season with the different bells. So, uh, this was by itself. This is an embossing folder that does these trees. And I did, I embossed one to show you, but you can't really tell on the camera. It's very, very subtle. Um, but it's, it's pretty. Uh, I guess we'll do the Halloween one. So I did not buy the Halloween stamp set. Um, I, I didn't buy the whole suite this first time, actually, that I haven't. But I did like the paper quite a bit. Um, I do very much like this black and gray with the flex. And I love this. This, the, the color's wrong, but this pattern reminds me of the wallpaper at Haunted Mansion. A Disney World. Um, that's what I saw when it looks like you would touch it and you'd be able to feel it like like a velvet, but it's not. It's plain, it's matte, but it's so pretty. I love the color combinations with this. I love this. And there's bats. I think actually, no, not that one. Um then there's the stripe. That's okay, but I like the stripes. I, I love stripes. Again, this I like very much. It's lacy. It looks like lacy spider webs. Like somebody had crocheted that. I like the colors together, but I don't like that pattern, which is okay because I like that side. So 
this now this has a matching uh, die so the stamp set and the dies match this exactly so if you got that you'd be able to use it to cut these lacy bats out and this is the same pattern as this except in a rest Cajun craze I guess there's that stripe again and this very subtle flower uh, flower spiders and some diamonds so that was the paper and I got um, the spider web embossing folder because that I can use for uh, pretty much any of my Halloween stuff and the reason I didn't get the Halloween stuff is that although I love Halloween uh, nobody else around here seems to like Halloween that much so I always end up with all this Halloween stuff and uh like I can't sell, I can't sell the projects that I make. Nobody's interested in it, and I don't sell enough of the project, the product to warrant me owning it. Um, this is called metallic mesh ribbon, and it makes a stunning bow. Oh, you can't see that. It does though. It makes a stunning bow. It's very elegant. Um, but you did get a sneak peek at these. So these are the iridescent pearls and you've got the different colors when you look at them There's blue and purple and green and gold It's just really pretty Oh, uh, That was it for that sweet But I did get I didn't get Halloween set per se, but I did get things with some Halloween images on it. So this is called Festive Post. Um, I, I love, last year we had a hostess set that was a truck with the tree that I really enjoyed. So um, I do like that and I like the deer. So I thought the October 31st with the brooms, I could do something with that paper and come up with some sort of, how there's bats there. Um, witching you a happy Halloween. So I'll come up with something. And then I got this banner year. And I don't usually go for these tiny sets because I find them difficult to use. But I really like the way the images look. So I am going to force myself to come up with some stuff with this one. So I do like the images, even though they're tiny. Um, and the fonts. I, I like when you get a set that has different fonts in it for all occasions. And it comes with the punch. Um, a banner punch. So as you can see, you do three different sizes. We've, we've got several of these types of punches, so I'm sure you're familiar. So um, the smallest and then the next size up and the next size up. And do we have the sizes written down? No. Probably in the catalog they're written down. Um, but yeah. So that. Um, oh, I forgot this one. This is Sweetest Time. Now there's a sample in the catalog that I absolutely fell in love with, which, which made me want this set. Um, there's a matching die as well, but it's it's got a lot of intricate um, border details to it. And really I only wanted the die for, for these. So I'll use my scanning cut to cut them out. Um, and this was, Oh, here, we'll do this one. This all came on the same order. So this is called Press On, a coffee set. Uh, Samantha, if you're watching, I thought of you. Um, I have some plans for this. I thought this would go cute with uh, making the coffee tray again, but not in a Christmas theme, making it as a coffee theme with there's um, some tins in the catalog that you could put coffee beans in or um, chocolate covered coffee beans. Um, and then make a gift packaging with this coffee themed or even oh that with a whole bunch of Keurig cups Okay, no, I've got plans. Oh, I can I, I'm, I'm excited now. It's too late for me to start a project, but <sighs> I'm on vacation for two weeks, so I'll be able to do something so this was number two this I, I did a second order and I got this because the first time around I liked it But I didn't think I liked it enough, but I you know what I really do I love these words that have a solid background with the white showing so that when you stamp it on a on white cardstock in a colored ink so let's say I stamped it using real red you would see the real red all the way around the letters and the letters would remain white 
Um, these throw me off a little bit. I don't really need those, but I love, like, I just, I know I have like a gazillion stamp sets that have sprigs, leaves, and, and holly, but I just love that. So the reason that this one's different though, is you've got your three words there, and then you've got them here in the, um, in the die. So I can either stamp that and use the die to cut them out and then make a shadow, or I can stamp the word and then the, um, the mat and then the shadow or however you want to call it. And the words are bright, peace, and joy. So it'd be something like, um, peace and joy this Christmas or, uh, merry and bright Christmas, um, joy to the world peace to you and yours um i don't know merry christmas merry and bright peace and joy there's there's a lot of different things you can do with it so that i like I like that it's a different and then there's this one last thing that i forgot to show it's just a pack of felt um but i like felt and uh, so I wanted it in Stampin' Up! colors, but really this is just a regular red. It is real red, but the red and, and brown and white and other than this color, which you probably wouldn't find because this is mint macaron, the other three colors are pretty generic. I think you could probably find that at the dollar store in a full sheet. Um, you can cut, you can use your dies to cut through as, as you see, I've done that here to make some bands for my coffee cups. You have to put it through a couple of times. This one I only did once and it didn't cut all the way through. But if you cut it, if you go through back and forth a couple of times, it will all cut out. But I just, I wanted to have it to have on hand and to show. Um, oh, how could I forget this? Okay, what suite was this? This was part of the, um, the Poinsettia suite. So these are called Wonderful Gems, and this is my favorite thing out of the catalog, these gems. I'm going to have to get a whole bunch more of these before they go on back order because I think they're gorgeous. If you look closely like at the white ones, if you can see the gold inside is different for each gem, and it looks like it's floating in there, and they are just stunning, absolutely stunning. So... I love that. I had put it aside because I wanted to make sure that people knew it was my favorite. And uh, okay, I'm going to try and flip this up without turning my camera off like I did the last time. This is my third attempt at this video, by the way, because the last time I did it, um, when I flipped the camera up, it turned off the video. So it was a very abrupt stop. Okay, so this is a little bit longer than my normal videos are. Oh my gosh, I look horrible. This is my COVID hair. I... <sighs> hate it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's like, does anybody else have COVID hair? I mean, wow. Okay. Um, so that is my haul. And there are still quite a few things in the catalog I did not get because, you know, we all have a budget. Some of us stick to the budget, some don't. We all have a budget. So that is it. And um, my next video, I'm on vacation for two weeks, so I plan to do a whole bunch of them. Um, and my next one will showcase projects that I've made with this stuff and then uh, and I do have um, all my catalogs have arrived and I will start sending them out and delivering them next week thank you so much for watching and thanks for subscribing and thanks for following I appreciate it and I appreciate your comments and I try to answer all of them have a wonderful evening and we'll have a crafty day and we'll uh we'll next video <laughs> bye